Hi everyone, it's Lauren and today I'm going to be doing a book review of N.W. by Zadie Smith. If you don't know, N.W. is a London postcode for the northwest area of London and that's where this story generally takes place. And we follow the lives of four people who were brought up there on a council estate and where their lives have ended up now that they're adults. Although it is about four main characters whose lives are linked, the main focus of the story is on childhood best friends Leah and Natalie. This novel is divided into lots of different sections, with each section focusing on a different person. We start off um, from Leah's perspective, and one of the things that I thought was really interesting and really well done is that you see how Leah relates to herself and also her thoughts on Natalie and Natalie's life. Natalie is a very successful lawyer who is married with children, she's got a nice house with a garden in London, she has dinner parties with other successful people, Leah doesn't have that life and you see how she feels about the situation and maybe Natalie at that point isn't a very sympathetic character. Later on in the book, Natalie has her own section, and what I really loved was you, you see a twist on actually what Natalie thinks of Leah. You get more information about Leah, I felt, when you in Natalie's section than in, in her own one. And it's then that you actually see them when they were children, and you see how they be, have been friends through a really long time, how both of them have grown up and changed in that time. It, it gives a really realistic view on what old relationships are like. They're so much more complex than Leah being like, oh, Natalie's really annoying now, she's really annoying me. But actually, they are, they are linked together so closely in ways that Leah wasn't really admitting at that time that you can understand why they're friends and why they have been friends for a really long time. Childhood relationships that go into adulthood often are a bit more complicated because people do grow up and change. I thought the characters were so well-rounded. Once you read the end of the book, you really appreciated them both from their how they what they think of themselves and actually what others think of them as well. One of the techniques that Zadie Smith uses to really give us another level of character exploration is the use of very different writing styles depending on whose section it is. We go from a stream of consciousness without very much punctuation to very almost poetic um, modernist pages to traditional third person and it, it just adds another layer. For example, in Natalie's section, she tends to compartmentalise certain things in her life and number them and list them down, and that's just how she structures and how she frames her own life. And it just adds something to your understanding of that character, of how they choose to tell you their story, I suppose. Something else that Zadie Smith is absolutely brilliant at in this book, in my opinion, is all of the auxiliary characters. She manages to paint a picture of who all of these people are, not really by describing them visually very often, but mostly how they talk, and it's so skillfully done and so well observed. Especially coming from London as I do, I think the way people talk, the slang that they choose to use, the orders they put the words in, the conjoining words that they use, you can just really hear someone talking, and it's actually incredibly it's an incredible transcription that she's done. It makes it so much more realistic and believable. And you can really tell what someone's background is just by the way that they're speaking a lot of the time. The main themes of this book surround where you're from and where you end up, and whether where you're from is an, any indication of where you're going to end up, whether it's luck that some people are successful and some people aren't, whether it's down to you trying harder than someone else to be successful, it, whether it's all everyone actually has the same opportunities and what I think was also very well done was that it's, it is about race but it's not solely about race it's about how race mixes in with class status as well a really good example of this is that Natalie isn't actually Natalie's name Natalie was given the name Keisha however when she went to university and wanted to become a lawyer she changed her name to Natalie this is something that she did to herself. She wanted to reinvent herself and she wanted to become that middle class person. What I found really interesting was that being poor and being black weren't necessarily barriers to her success, but her name sounding like she was poor and she was black might have made a difference when she's applying for jobs and stuff. And that sentiment is really present throughout the whole novel through everyone's lives that you see. and. It doesn't necessarily make judgement and it doesn't necessarily give any answers but it is a comment 
on, on society as it is and I did find it to be really really interesting. I give this book 4 out of 5 stars I think, um, I have read On Beauty by Sadie Smith before, I thought this was better, I really really enjoyed it and I would really encourage anyone to pick it up. Let me know if you've read this book in the comments below, I would love to hear from you and I will see you in my next video, bye!